Yes, I joined a Sharp by 2 tournament. The tournament is called the International and it was hosted by very cool people in the community and also supported by the Sharp by 2 developers. It was all done in a separate game where the organizers had admin commands so they could set up rounds and make it easy and enjoyable for everyone. Oplo and Simon also decided to join the tournament so it ended up being very exciting. You don't want to miss it. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, the tournament is starting. I am actually pretty scared. Let's see what happens. So these are the brackets which were used in the tournament. So there's basically 16 players who compete against each other. Everyone has one opponent. In my case, it was a person called Sama. And there will be three game modes per round. And so it's basically a best of three against your opponent. And whoever does better moves on to the next round. There's also a loser's bracket, but I'll explain that a little bit later. The first round was the octopus and they quickly explained us the rules. And basically we were in fast boats against the shark and we had to get from one side of the map to the other without getting killed. And the shark was in the middle. And we would basically go back and forth until there's one player standing. I wasn't really talking during the rounds because I was focused. This was the first round and it's just started here. And I did pretty well here. I kind of got stuck behind Simon's boat. Someone was actually in a sailboat for some reason. I guess he forgot to pick a fast boat. But there it is, I finished. But now we have to go back and forth. And so here the shark, shark attacked that person and I just tried to get past it. Kind of got stuck there a little bit, but I made it. That's good. I'm fine for now. And this is where I lost. So I got, kind of got stuck near this island and then I couldn't do anything because the shark attacked me. But lucky for me, the person who I was against got killed by the shark, so I did end up getting the point. I did fine there. I think I just barely got the point. I did, I did as well. Nice, I think I got it by like a couple of seconds, so that's good. The next game mode was the sailing dead. And we were basically all in coffin boats and we could choose any weapon and the most damage wins. Again, this is against your opponent, so whoever does more damage out of you wins. Since I already had one point against my opponent, I basically had to get one point out of two rounds. So let me show you what happened. Alright, I'm gonna use the shark blaster because I practiced with it a little bit. So again, we don't, we can't use the RPG. So yeah, this is probably my best bet. Alright, so this was actually our second attempt at this round because the first time something bugged. This time it also bugged because one person was selected as two sharks, but it ended up counting anyways. I kept shooting the second shark, but I did do better than my opponent. So I got the point and moved on to the next round. I think I actually moved on. It was weird with two sharks. Alright, so this round is apparently just sailboat plus any weapon and if you deal the most damage then you win. I already have two points against my opponent so this third round doesn't really matter, I'm gonna move on anyways. But I'm still competing. Okay, the shark cannot kill us. Okay, I won again. I managed to shoot the shark once and yeah, that was enough apparently. Okay, so it's gonna be a 1-1 one -one between Simon and Map Kling because they tied in the first round. Let's see who prevails. Simon is on jet ski and this guy is on a wildfire. Go Simon, go! No! Is it damage only? Simon won! Here are the brackets. I'm against Oplo. That's pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be interesting. Next there was tank battles and you could choose between the pyro tank and the hydro tank. And you also got a flint log. The most damage wins. Okay, so the shark can kill us. We're in this pyro tank. Gotta be careful. Okay, here the shark attacked me and this was very scary because the flint log does no damage at all basically. But I still managed to get quite a few shots as you can see. So that was enough to win against Oplo in the first round. Let's go! So if I win one more round in this bracket, then I move on automatically. So basically, I have to win one round out of the two. Okay, this next round was the most intense one for me personally in the whole tournament. 
It was basically just a normal pass the bomb round, but you could only use boats that have a top speed of 130 or less. So if you get unlucky and you spawn far away from other players, or you don't end up catching up to them, you're eliminated automatically. And so yeah, it's kind of a mix of skill and luck. And once again, this was very intense for me. Okay, next up is the pass the bomb, and you basically have to survive for as long as possible. And you cannot shoot the shark. Okay, it's no shooting. The fastest boat is this Viper speedboat. Alright, here at the start, I basically try to stay close to people in case I get the bomb and I can quickly pass it to someone. But this was also dangerous, as you can see. Luckily, I didn't get, end up getting the bomb here. This is the most intensive pass the bomb round ever. <laughs> I'm soon to get the bomb by the way, and it's gonna be pretty scary. And remember, I'm against Oplo. Alright, I have the bomb, that's bad. Okay, I gave the bombs to, to someone. Now let's run. Look at this guy. Okay, the bomb is chasing me. Which one's Oplo? Okay. That's bad. Okay. So if Oplo dies right now, it doesn't- Oh my god, he doesn't die. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad for me. Here I got the bomb once again. And it was a very scary feeling because it's very hard to catch up to another boat the same speed as you. You basically have to cut them off. And I saw this party boat which I could get to. And let's just watch this moment. Go! Boat, go! So close! Oh my god! That was so close. Okay, it's Opal's boat again. That's perfect. That's perfect for me. Oh god. That's so close. Oh my god. I mean, it's only the Viper boats that are left. That's pretty bad. So if Opal explodes, that's it. I move on. No! He actually made it. What? Oh my god, it's Oplo again. It's Oplo again. I hear it, but okay, I see it kind of there. Oof. How? Dude. Oplo is so good. What? It's Oplo again. He's so unlucky. Oh my god. Surely he explodes this time, right? Oh no, I think it's close. I think it's really close. What are you doing, guy? RIP. I'm being chased right now. Okay, this is pretty bad. Because I'm not paying attention to it and this might be scary. What happened to my head? I think this is Oplo messing with me. Okay, next round is the cruise ship, which is basically the Titanic round in Sharbite 1. But I have two points against Oplo, so this doesn't really matter, the result of this. So this is just practice for me, I guess. To the shark! I think I did quite a lot of damage there. I did as well. There's gonna be a bonus round now, where we use the coconut launchers, but the shark only has 1 HP. 
So whoever kills the shark gets a rule exemption, so they can bypass a rule. Okay, the shark is allowed to attack. Okay. I'm guessing this guy, which is almost level 200 in the game. So it's gonna be pretty scary. We have to wait until at least one person is dead, and then we can shoot the shark, and whoever does the most damage wins basically against their opponent. I did some good damage. Gary. Oh no. Okay, I did some good damage. Only Nathan is left. He's doing damage. Oh no. Okay, good. They got him. Moment of truth. Oh my god. Twice as much as I did. This next round, I was really focused because I had to win. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be in the loser's bracket. And it's going to be very hard to recover from that. And so, this is basically just Sailbot plus Flintlock. Who does the most damage? I think I did pretty decent here and. I guess until this moment, but again, it's only damage that counts. How we see alive, man? Oh my god, it's not dead just yet. Next, we had this light bike race, and I wasn't paying attention to chat, and so I started late, as you can see. And my opponent is number one, by the way. He's been in first place for the whole round. And so basically I didn't have a chance. And so I just ended up losing. Okay, so Nathan is out. The guy who beat me. And so... If I win the next two games... In the loser's bracket, I will move on to the finals. With the person who beat Nathan. Okay, I'm about to compete and I'm against Dag. Which is this person over here. Okay, so this next round was basically the storm in Fortnite. Where you can stay anywhere at first. And then the map gets smaller and smaller. And so here you could hide behind islands. Then in some time the zone gets smaller. And you can only stay within the inside of the islands. And the shark can still attack you by the way. There were only four of us. And I'm just gonna show you what happened. Here we can only stay within the borders of the islands. And here I wasn't just paying attention at all. And then the shark just sneaked up on me and I couldn't do anything. Kind of sad. Okay, this is my redemption round. If I lose, I lose. So this was basically like a bigger version of the octopus. As I understood, you need to hide behind islands and then on one side of the map and then go to the other side of the map without getting killed. Here Oplo and Simon were also 1v1ing and both of them died at the start actually. So I'm against this Viper boat here, waiting on the command to go. Now we just go to the other side of the map, to the buoy. Here Oplo died and we reached the buoy and Simon also died. So this is just a 1v1. The shark has to either kill me or the other speedboat. And now we had to go to the last buoy I kind of wanted to go behind the island, but then I saw that the other person was going through there. And I also decided to do that, which was a big mistake. And yeah, I got unlucky here as well. Come on, man. I got stuck between the island and the shark. So yeah, that's it for me. After about an hour or four hours in total, Nathan ended up winning. And he will get 10,000 Robux and also an in-game trophy, which he can place on his boat, which you can see here. Kind of sad that I did this poorly at the end, but what can you do about it? I'm gonna try harder next time and hopefully I can get the trophy.
If you also want to participate in these tournaments, there's a link down below in the description to the International Sharpie Tournament Discord. And from there you can register and play with our cool people. The next tournament is probably going to be in around a month.